What's happening, everybody? It's Grant Monier, the eco artist and your eco friendly reporter. I hope you're all staying safe and calm through these crazy times we're dealing with. And uh, you're going to have to excuse my hairdo. I know it looks a little long, although I'm pretty sure most of you are going through the same problem, too. But I got a question. How do you think I would look with a man bun? Hmm? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. So we are now past 40 days of staying at home. It sure feels like months, doesn't it? But I've been staying busy, of course, with my eco art and learning how to use Zoom. I've been Zoom reporting different stories from my friends all around the world. So these next few weeks, I'm going to be chatting with people who have not only made a difference in my life, but in others living with special needs or challenges. They've contributed to their community. So today, I have a very special guest all the way from the Netherlands. His name is Christian Boer, and he is the creator of a very special font called the Dyslexi font. You know, special custom letters for our computers, font. And I have personally seen people in shock, tears, and in joy whenever they see this Dyslexi font in our books. Everybody can read this book, but those with reading struggles can read this book comfortably. And not only that, Mr. Henry Winkler, he uses the same dyslexia font in his books too. You know, the fonts. Hello, Christian. Finally a chance to meet the guy who has changed the way people read. Thank you so much for that. So Christian, before we get started, I thought it would take a little trip around the world and be closer to you. Since we're all stuck at home, I had to create new ways of traveling. Check this out. Boom! Welcome <laughs> to the Netherlands, everybody. This is where my friend Christian lives. I gotta say, it's quite a nice place. Cool picture, Graham. Cool picture at the back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not living in a windmill, but um, um, I have learned that uh, I also need a uh, hair barber shop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <Give me both>. <laughs> <laughs> How are you holding up with this pandemic? Is there something new you may have learned? Like any new hobbies, entertainment, maybe a new language? Something positive out of all this? And um, yeah, what I do did is I start drawing again since 10 12 years ago so um and i have a uh, little baby boy three months now so uh Aww. that's that's a, more time around him it's nice so uh, but yeah for the rest working from home helping people around the world so the pandemic has greatly affected our business with conferences and presentations how has the pandemic affected your business? Um, our, our biggest group is schools. Uh, dyslexia is, is, is really popular or popular uh, uh, spoken at schools and uh, all the schools are closed. So uh, it's, it's a, a lot quieter, uh, but now we can focus on some stuff that uh, was laying around. Uh, some technical stuff, but also I'm a part of uh, dyslexia organizations, so uh, have Zoom meetings with them. <laughs> uh, so that's that's yeah. a different story uh, around now. Yeah. Kirsten, could you tell us about the dyslexia font? Why did you create it? Uh, I have dyslexia myself, and um, I, I was always hiding it. I had some teachers that were really like uh, i don't know what dyslexia is you need to be punished you need to be working harder uh all that kind of stuff so i hide it um, and then i was um uh, 28 uh on art school graphic design in 2008 and um i i had some trouble with reading with the final graduation projects and i started reading and I did not came through and, and then the teacher said, could you explain me more about dyslexia? And that's mm -hmm. me the role to, to make something about typeface layout and that kind of stuff. And then I ended up by reading something that I heard all, all my life about 
um, mirroring lattice, uh, switching lattice, um, and rotating lattice, and I was thinking that are all 3D movements. So what is something that I don't do with like a pen or something else that I do with letters and I try to, to tie them down. That's, that's pretty fast the way to explain, but also I, I made it and um, I, I invited a couple of other dyslectic uh, students that I didn't know, but I said I want dyslectic students from heavy to uh, less severe dyslectic and then want to try it and they all came back and want to typeface uh, and that was my graduation project and then I was okay that's it uh, I will use it my test uh, students will use it and uh, I will use it on my computer <laughs> and um, that went a little bit different um, I won a couple of prizes and then it went worldwide and yeah it was uh, after that it was like everyday mailing, helping people, uh, answering emails, and yeah, uh, doing a lot, traveling a lot, and uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I did from there on. Uh, <laughs> How old were you when your teachers, and everyone you knew helped you out with your dyslexia? Um, I, I have a uh, father that is a teacher on a uh, oh. middle school kind of uh, thing, and um, he had an, uh, uh, he had an, 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 a remedial teacher came in by telling him about something about dyslexia and he said okay I got no time come uh, at my home uh, address and uh, you can tell me everything about dyslexia I don't know what it is um, and she was telling everything and my mother came by and she was like okay my youngest son you you describe him could you test him could you bringing with you and, and look around if that's correct and I went with her and uh, I did all the testing and they came out like you have dyslexia and um, uh, then I went to my uh, elementary school and they didn't know what dyslexia was so um, uh, yeah that that was a whole different story uh, but I was six and uh, and and yeah, it almost seven, uh, and it was a lot of struggle. Uh, and afterwards, my parents were really supporting me. Like, okay, you do your best. Um, if you do all all you what you can, it's 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 enough for us. And don't li listen to the teacher because he doesn't understand what it is. Uh, and that was a little bit of a break for me because it was like a lot of pressure from my parents and teachers and 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 doubting myself. Like okay, I'm not good enough, or I'm 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 lazy, or uh, I don't know what's happening here. Everybody's finished, and I'm not. But yeah, it's it it never uh, went like really comfortable. I do know that the, I, sometimes I had an holiday and I took a book, but then it was like seven days every evening reading, and I read so slow. It's like watching a movie uh on, on on really slow pace that you like okay i understand it and it's it's taking all the joy out of reading uh until i made the typeface after that i start reading more i read now more every day than i ever did in school having dyslexia yourself do you feel that your child may have dyslexia too um my girlfriend don't has have dyslexia it is indeed uh you can inherit um but yeah you get you get the 50 50 chance um but yeah i i, I don't see any problem with it because dyslexia have also a lot of uh good things uh but if he doesn't have it it's also fine uh it's 50 50 for me and what age do most kids get tested? Um, here in the Netherlands, I think it's the same in, in, in the US. It's around six, seven. Ever since you made this dyslexia font, I gotta tell you, you've changed the lives of so many people who have dyslexia. People can just take a look at our books, they can read this book. <laughs> we even had someone say, I can read it? <laughs> Christian, how long has the dyslexia font been available? 
Um, in 2008, uh, when I graduated, there was a project on my website uh, next to all my graphic work. And there were people asking for it. And uh, uh, from there on, it was more known in the Netherlands. Uh, some articles about it and uh, people were sharing it around. And um, then there came the first school. Um, I didn't have a manual. I <laughs> I didn't have CDs or something, and so I, I I put the first manual, put it uh, by hand, and uh, uh, and send it to them. And there, on 2011, it went global. Person, who can purchase the dyslexia font? Um, of course, everybody can can uh, order it on our uh, website. So you're saying any individual in schools can purchase this font, right? And who yeah, else yeah. can purchase? Oh, we, we get a lot of questions. Uh, of course, companies for to helping their employees uh, to get the best out of their employees. Mm -hmm. um, dyslexia is not something new, uh, but also churches, um, nonprofits. So another question, Christian, does the dyslexia font come in other languages? Uh, yeah, next to uh, Dutch, uh, English, uh, Icelandic, Swedish, uh, German, like any any Latin language um, in the Western, uh, it it stops uh, with uh, Greek, uh, Cyrillic. Uh, that's also in Russia. Um, th that's something else because I I cannot read that. I don't know where the errors are, so I cannot come up with a solution for that part but any other language it's it's covered uh, and and it was a lot of work to get all the signs in but uh, yeah it's it was. and can they purchase those other languages on your website all the languages are in uh, the same font so uh, yeah it's it's one file and uh, you get it on your computer uh, any uh, language you choose you will see it uh, it works so again, guys, check out Christian Bohr's website. It's uh, www.dyslexifont.com. So Christian, what new books do you have now or coming soon featuring the Dyslexia font? There are a lot of books coming every month, uh, mm -hmm. but that are by publishers around the world. Uh, but the latest one I did myself, the layout, was well, 20 tips for people with dyslexia, and that is wow. more focused on day by day living so uh, it's more focused on your partner or your parents to show them and if they read the book they understand more about the person with dyslexia uh, but it is really useful information and, and hopefully uh, we'll translate it also to English uh, so it can go worldwide I have a new book coming out it's called a uh, zoo closed until further notice and this is good and not only this book, but all but my books are going to come out today as ebooks, electronic flip books online. You can find these on our website, www.jigsaw, like the puzzle, jigsawgrant.com. In fact, check out my animals that are going to be in the book. Here's Grant, there's Grant the Jigsaw Giraffe, there's Mama Jules, there's Dill the Kangaroo, kangaroo there's Medell the Elephant. Ralph the Rhino, there's Miss Judy the Macaw, and, and all, they're all they're all here. So, Grant, when did it start for you? When did you start being creative and 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 tearing up uh, uh, and, and making jigsaw pictures like what you do today? Around the around the age of fourteen, I was uh, I was doing so well on my online curriculums that all this free time on my hand, and I created my first art piece the sun god and from there so much has happened what started out as a homeschool art project became a business so with all the time now uh, available for you what um, are you working on uh, nowadays i saw some uh, pictures on the website of the panda i really like that one uh, but i'm curious on what your is your latest work well recently uh a uh, lady gave us all this uh, jewelry, and of course, I went through it, you know, separating which ones are again, which ones are small, big, small, big, and from all that separ separations, I was actually 
I was able to create this. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> can you look at, you can see all the jewelry in there. Oh. And this yeah, is just one. Really nice wow. This is from the, this is the gold yes. version. There's a silver version too. Wow. And of course, That's this is not the only work. thing. This is not the only one I've been working on. And of course, I've been still uh, peeling my puzzles as well. And of course, well, from peeling puzzles, I create, uh, you know, art pieces like this one, Peacock Lane. If you look very closely in the peacock, you can see all the puzzle pieces. Wow. These are, like I said, these are, these are torn puzzle pieces. So they're nice and paper thin. Can you see it? Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. That take it? a lot of time. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a lot more time now than I have than I did before. <laughs> before we end, is there anything we missed that you would like to say? Is there any advice you would like to give? Um, to to uh, parents of people of children with dyslexia, uh, always uh, understand your child uh, um, and understand let them know that you understand they do their best um and motivate them and don't push them um that's my best advice i can say uh, for any parent i appreciate your time before i do my closing we will sign off i just want to thank you for being a big part of my life and i'd like to thank everybody who viewed our video please check out christian's website www.dyslexifont.com and please follow me on my social media pages and stay tuned for some more upcoming interviews and contests for my products. Until then, stay safe out there, everyone. You too, Christian. Bye. Bye. Thanks everybody for checking out our video and please check out my friend's website, dyslexifont.com. Remember, that's dyslexi with an E. Bye.